What's up, what's up, budget crew? Welcome back. Another video. Um, just maintenance stuff on the Jenny. I'm going to be doing an oil change, changing the cabin air filter, and I'm going to be cleaning out the K&N uh, filter that's in the intake box. Um, I do have the stuff to do the rear diff oil change. I'm just going to be draining the fluid and filling it up. But um, I don't have my jack, because I have four jack stands, but I'm using two of them on the Civics. I only have two available. So I want to have the car all leveled up, you know, so I'm probably going to hold off on that just until I could get uh, another two jack stands where I'm going to see if I could put some wheels on uh, the Civic underneath just to hold it up while I use the, the jack stand. So I might not do this today. I might hold this off to, you know, till later. But yeah, I will be doing the oil change. It's easy. I think I've done a video, but I'll just make another one just in case, you know, Um I ordered some replacement washers for uh, just the, the I think the rear diff drain plug. I think it has a washer that it's a copper one that you can't reuse. So I ordered uh, some new ones. What else? I got a new drain plug. This one, I got it off of Amazon. It has a magnet attached to it. So, you know, hopefully it'll any little metal shards or whatever will get caught up in the drain plug. Um, what else? <clears throat> Oh, this, what is this? I think this is. Oh, okay, okay, okay. These are the little tire stem caps. I just. So once I fix up the the R spig wheels, I'm gonna put these on. They're pretty dope. Got these on Amazon too. Yeah, these are pretty dope. So, I'm gonna hold off on these because I have the, the. The original, you know, 18 inch wheels that came with the Jenny, but the the paint is all messed up on those. So I need to strip them because originally they were uh, chrome. So I did the mistake and I painted them. So I'm gonna try to sand them and polish them up and get them chrome again because I think that would I think that would look really dope. So I have a chrome set and then the R spec rims. Um, I was gonna fix them up, you know, all the curb rash and stuff, sand them down, and I want to get them repainted, but I'm not sure if I want to keep them black because I kind of, yeah, I don't know if I want to keep them black. Either black or I want to do like a gold, like a, not a bright, bright gold, but like a dark bronze. You know, I feel like that would look real cool on the, on the Jenny. So yeah, guys, with all that being said, let me go jack up the Jenny, put it on the jack stands and start draining all the oil and stuff. All right, guys. So replacing the cabin air filter on the Genesis is real easy. Uh, on the corners here, there's like little rubber grommets that hold the the whole uh, glove box in. So you just pull on this plastic a little bit on both sides. Hold up. Okay. All right, guys. So I had to use both of my hands to pull. On this side though, you, you can see it's coming down now, but that's a little rubber piece you gotta pull out of that little hole right there. So it just like hooks onto that. So you just gotta pull it so enough so it could clear and it'll fall right down. Um, I think there's supposed to be two of them, but I only have one, so. <laughs> yeah, so after that, you got two little clips right here. Pinch on these just like that, you see? And then pinch this in. That thing comes off. Got your cabin air filter, goddamn. Look at shit. <laughs> and the new one, easy peasy. Alright, the new one goes in just like that. Gotta put these little clips on again. Actually, this goes this way. I think that's it right there. Just like that. Easy. Alright guys, so I was already going to get started without you guys, but pretty easy stuff. Got a 17 mil bolt, you know, for the oil drain plug. I already broke it loose, so... Drain this hole real quick. <laughs> oh 
Oh shit, almost. Yeah, this drain plug is no more. Alright guys, check it out. Here's uh, the new drain plug with the magnet. Pretty cool. So hopefully, actually hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully it does pick up some metal shards if there is any. But like I said, hopefully it doesn't pick up anything because that would be a lot better. But nonetheless, pretty cool. All right, guys, and to remove the oil filter, you gotta remove the housing for it first, this little plastic stuff. Um, it's a 27, 27 mil, yeah. Goes just like that. Break it loose, and now you can just hand twist it out. that drain for a little bit all right guys so I went ahead and got this tightened up got the drain plug tightened up everything's been drained uh, real quick before we start filling it up with oil uh, while we're down here give you guys a quick inspection of all those uh, control arms and stuff we changed and greased up um, so far so good doesn't look like anything you know shot out started spitting out all the grease um, everything's been holding its grease in, so everything's still squishy. Um, let's see. I don't know if you guys can see. That's the main one. It does look a little dirty, but all that grease that we put in there, it's still retaining, being retained inside the little, the rubber. Upper control arms. Smoothie. So far, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Here's the passenger side. Alright, awesome. Yep. Passenger side. Oops. Everything looks like it checks out, nothing looks out of, out of place. Very nice. Alright, <clears throat> as you guys can see, this filter has seen better days. So we're going to spray it down with the cleaner. You let this soak for like, I don't know, just a little bit, not too much. Like the other side. This side's clean, but we'll still hit it. Alright, so I'm gonna let that chill for like two, three minutes, and then we'll hose it down. All right, guys, so it's about that time to rinse this off. Um, I'm gonna rinse it from the other side, pushing out, so pushing this way. That way, all that gunk just falls right out. Let's see, I'm gonna put this this way. Very nice. I think he's gonna need some more soap up in there. No. That's good.
right guys so we got most of the filter clean there were some like little rocks and stuff stuck in between like that so what I did was off camera I opened up the little slit like that and then with the hose from the other side I pushed it out with the water so it officially doesn't have anything in between uh, the only thing I did notice was this little darker stain here so I'm just gonna hit it again with that cleaner and uh, just give it a second go all right guys time to spray her up she's been drying up for a while now so just gonna give it a nice little coat Get the other side. Alright, I kind of got to hold it now, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I gave it a decent amount. I was pretty generous with it. Um, yeah, so now I'm just going to let this chill out here for a little bit. I'm going to let it drip down. Then I'm going to take it back inside and let the fan hit it so it can dry up. Alright guys, it's pretty much dried up already. I'm just going to leave it here overnight because I'm not going to drive the car at all. So just so it could keep drying a little bit more. And as a little bonus, we're going to do the Elantra's filter as well. A little baby compared to the Genesis one. This one's not that dirty as mine, but I'm still going to clean it. See, this one wasn't even that dirty. Little baby. I'm gonna have to use my other hand to give it the last coat, so. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I already installed the filters back on the Elantra and the Genesis. Uh, definitely a noticeable difference. You know, you can tell when the filter's dirty. You know, when you step on the gas, you, you feel the difference. So, definitely did help out a lot. Um, that's pretty much it guys I'm gonna do another video of me uh, removing the wrap on the rear bumper that I got so stay tuned for that 